going in. Usually I buy like a few thousand at a time. If Stingrays could build up frequent flyer miles, I can see he's got a full Stinger there, two of them. I'm gonna have to clip him. Okay, you wanna show everybody? He might have did a number one. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. Today, we have to move some fish around here. What's happening now is the rays are getting stronger and healthier from all the concentrated feeding. They're kind of getting a little bit aggressive now. As you can see here, come closer, Oi. You see like that one? There's some bite marks on her disc. Okay, but she's still doing fine. But what's happening now is this girl has, has stopped eating. Okay, you see she's lifting her disc a little bit in the front. She's not as active as the rest of them. And when she does go for the food, she's very slow. And uh, it's questionable whether she's really taking in any food. Now, I really don't understand why this is happening because every other fish in this tank is doing great. So possibly she could be stressed from the other females just biting on her or competing for the food and just she's just not as competitive. So what we're gonna try to do today is I'm gonna put in one of my floating cages, get her separated, and just see if by separating right, and just see if by separating her that it takes her out of that competitive situation and whether or not her feeding response becomes better and her appetite comes back. This is like a trial and error process. So I'm gonna try that first because that's the simplest process, it's the least invasive process and I don't need to apply any medications either, right? Because I do not want to waste medication on the whole tank and on other fish that don't need it. So that's the first step. We're gonna do that now, and let's see how that goes, right? And of course, I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of her and see where this takes us. So come on, let's go. All right, guys, before we get further into today's episode, I just wanna give you guys a quick update. As you saw in the last episode, you know, we have finally made it into New York but we were not in our home yet. We were actually living out of a hotel. We finally closed on our house, and I just wanna show you guys real quick. Yeah. Look at these two. They're settling quite nicely, but it's a big mess. A lot of boxes all over the place. Uh, a lot of work ahead of us. Still living out of our suitcases, but at least we're sleeping more comfortably now. I just wanna give a really big, big shout out to my agent. As you guys know, Selling my house was quick and easy, and I thanked Gary for that. The house hunt here in New York was insane. It took me three months of searching and bidding and fighting with people for houses. I really have to thank my agent here in New York. Her name is Monica Park. Right here, this is her business card. I will leave her information in the description below, but I couldn't have asked for a better agent in this house hunt. She really knew the area of Long Island. She was able to guide me in so many ways and her negotiation skills, it is the best. We actually won a few bids. You know, me with my OCD, I ended up finding things that I didn't like and then I backed out and she was patient with me. So you know what, anyone that can handle me and my level of pickiness and still have a smile on her face, was incredible. So you guys out there, if you're looking for an agent in the New York City area, in the Long Island area, I definitely, definitely recommend you guys hitting Monica up, all right? So now, let's get into today's episode. So I already have everything all set up. I'm just gonna run around the back. You can stay right here, all right? First thing what I'm gonna do is try to dip this cage into the tank. Uh, let's see here. It's going in. Nice. Perfect. All right. Now we just have to catch the ray and get her into the cage. I do honestly hope 
that that is the situation because then this is the correct fix for the problem. Oh, come on, come on, girl. Here we go. You are in. All right. So that was simple enough. Okay. Whenever you're always trying to uh, figure out a problem, diagnose the situation, break it down, and we always try to take the simplest approach first and see if it works. So what we're gonna do now is I have some night crawlers as well, and I'm gonna go grab one or two night crawlers and throw it in there to see if she'll eat it. This is kind of weird for me. I've never bought night crawlers in such small quantities. Usually I buy like a few thousand at a time. I'm still new to the area, so. I am looking for local suppliers, so if you guys know any out there, feel free to reach out because uh, I do consume quite a bit of this stuff. So here we go. We're just going to drop one first. I'm going to drop it right in front of her. Hold on. Okay. Now we just moved her, so she might be a little bit spooked, so I don't know if she'll take it. Let me try one more. Come on, girl. Mm. No. Nope. All right. Well, it was worth the shot. I knew that in all reality, she probably wasn't gonna take it because of the stress of just moving her into that tank. She still needs to get used to that new environment. So I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. And uh, I can't waste these things because I only have 18 of them, <laughs> okay? Yeah, it's very little. Like this is like not even one ray can eat it all. All right, so we're done with that part, and then we're gonna head to the back. And what we're doing also is we're packing up a ray and shipping it back to Ohio Fish Rescue. Why? Well, I'll tell you in a little bit. All right, guys. I honestly gotta say, if stingrays could build up frequent flyer miles, this would be ridiculous because <laughs> that ray is going back to Ohio Fish Rescue. Why, you guys may ask? Well, it's, it was just a simple mix-up. They sent me back one of their rays by mistake and they still have one of my rays. So now this guy is going back. So I think what, they, well actually it didn't go from LA. Well, I think that ray might have even originally started in LA and then went to them. And then now it ended up coming here to New York. And then now from New York, it's going back to him. <laughs> All right. So we're giving back Big Rich and Josh their ray, and then they're gonna reuse the same box and ship me back my ray. Well, let's get going then. And today's a scorcher too. Oh yeah. But, uh, you know, with the right packing and cooling down the water, we should be good. And this is a very beautiful ray. It's understanding, I mean, it's understandable the mix up when you guys are just grabbing so much rays and just trying to get everything done. And uh, the confusion was, if you guys remember, they had transferred one of my males over into one of their breeding ponds to try to get some uh, mating activity. So this was in that pond and my other male was in that pond. And I guess when you guys were grabbing it, it was just a simple mistake. I can see he's got a full stinger there, two of them. We're gonna have to clip them. Okay, stand back. That's one. Now it was hard for me to cut because this is my really old clippers. I don't have my new ones here. They're here, but I don't know where. So now he's a little agitated. This is when we gotta be careful when he's agitated. And I feel a little bit out of practice. Oh. Now we just wanna remove these out of here. There's yep. one. There's the second one. Okay. Now yeah, you wanna show everybody? Almost. And now I'm just gonna exchange a little bit of this water because during the struggle, he might have did a number one in here. <laughs> and we don't want to put that ammonia into the bag during shipping. And here we go. Uh, uh, Oi? This, yeah. <laughs> or Lisa, anybody, Lisa? Can you help hold this bag open, please? Match useless. Okay, Sorry. here we go. We got one arm. There it goes. Alrighty. Mr. Stingray. It looks good in green. Is it Mr. Stingray? Yes, it is yes, Mr. Stingray. It's a male. My male for his male. Okay, looking good. Nice and comfortable, plenty of space. This box is a little bit overkill, but 
we want to be safe, right? And get, make sure the fish gets there alive. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go over there and... Uh, air them up. Air them up.